Welcome to InfoGamer. My name's Nathan. My name's Mark. And in this video, we're going to show you how to create gravity on your character. So he'll continue to fall unless there's a platform in the way. We're also going to be putting in some boundaries for our game, like the death zone, where it will trigger the death sequence if you cross over into that zone. We'll also be putting in some other zones too, so stay tuned on how we're going to end up doing all that. Alright, today we will be showing you how to add gravity to our main character and as well we're going to be putting in a death zone at the bottom of our screen which will trigger a game over. So here we have Unity opened and we can see in our prefabs folder we have our main character, the box dude. So we're going to click on him to begin with and Unity has a built-in component that we will add on to our character if we go to add component and under physics 2D because it's a 2D game we'll click on that and we can see at the top there's this rigid body 2D now what a rigid body is is it's what creates physics to our main character so a box glider will make it so it's like a solid object and nothing can phase through it but a rigid body is what creates gravity or adds gravity to our character or other forces so we can push the character in different directions um, so we've added our rigid body and here we can see that gravity is scaled to one so that is a good start so we probably won't change it unless we want to make our game harder we could change it to like two or three but we'll keep it at one now we are going to add in our death zone and then we will code it to trigger a game over in a sense so we will go up to the top and create a new object so game object create empty for now and we will rename it game over zone and we'll center it whoops we'll center it on our x-axis and our z-axis and then in the y-axis we'll make it negative five and that will put it at the bottom of our screen and we'll have to add a box collider so physics 2d box collider and we want to rescale it so that it's thinner it doesn't take up so much space in the y direction and we also want to scale it in the x direction so it goes to the end of our screen in the width so for the x we will drag it out until it's roughly about the right size so right about there and I'll round it up to six and in the y we'll try 1.25 it's just a thin box in the y direction and it's pretty wide in the x. Now we want to set this to is trigger and this will make it so that it's not a solid object but it will still register when something passes through it. And for our main character we will want to make sure that he's a trigger as well for now. And now we will create the script that will code our death zone to register a game over when our box dude passes through it. So go to our scripts folder and we'll go to create C sharp and we'll rename it game over zone and hit enter. Got two too many scripts added. Okay, now we'll open it up in mono develop. Once it's opened, we will not need the start nor the update function, so we'll select them and delete it. We'll need to create a, a new function, which is a mono behavior function. It's already been created within mono behavior and so we just need to 
call it and then specify what happens within it and it is a void function and it's called on trigger enter 2d and we capitalize each letter at the beginning of each word and it needs to be spelled just like that it requires a parameter which is a collider 2d and we'll call it other because this script will be attached to our death zone and it registers or the parameter that, that is passed in is whatever object goes into our death zone so the other refers to our box dude or a platform whatever crosses that plane so we'll close our parameters and we'll open the body and inside this script we can specify our game over but we only want it to register a game over when our box dude passes through and so we can say if um, other dot tag equals equals and then we'll need quotes because we're referring to the string of the tag in which we set our box dude which is box dude with capital B and D and then close the quotes and the parentheses and inside the body of the if statement this is where we register our game over but before we do that we want to register the game over in our game controller script so we'll need to create a new variable and for now we'll just have a boolean so public bool and we'll call it is game over and we'll set it equal to false now we want to refer to our game controller script so at the beginning before our if statement we'll say game controller or our public game controller and we'll call it a game controller with a lowercase g print and semicolon now we can refer to our game over boolean by calling our game controller variable so we'll set oops I put this in the wrong location We'll just cut it and paste it outside the on trigger function. That's what I meant to do. Now we can call that game over boolean. So we'll say game controller dot game over is game over and we'll set it equal to true. Now we'll save this script and the other game controller script. We'll go back to Unity and on our game over zone, we will add our game over zone script by clicking and dragging it onto it. Then we will need to get our game controller which is in our hierarchy and drag it into this variable now as we click on our game controller we can see that here is our game is game over boolean and currently it's set to false now as we hit play it'll instantiate our character then he will fall because of gravity which we have in the rigid body and as soon as it passes over our game over collider zone it will change this boolean to true so let's test it 
and you can see the box is now checked which means that it worked and so later on as we continue with our tutorials we'll be able to register things in the update function of our game controller when this game over script is set to true so as our character passes through we'll be able to say now we will display game over on our screen or we will put a skull on our screen or something like that something cool and fun and make sure that you save your scene view and your project welcome back that was a pretty thorough tutorial and we hope you enjoyed it I know I enjoyed it it's always good to review these things because it helps you become a better game developer and so now we have that death zone and gravity so that was a whole lot of information and if you need to go back and rewatch it go ahead be our guest be our guest be, be our, our guest, guest. and the, subscribe the rest. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.